Hi, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mark Blanchard, and this is Rebecca. <laughs> and this is Lovey Flotant, which means floating, the floating life, life in English. Yes. So on this channel, we will share our full-time RV living experience, and our travel, and scuba diving, and riding motorcycle, and photography, and all kinds of fun in our lives. Yeah. So if you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like. That really helps us out because it helps fund our channel. Yeah, and also we would like for you to join our floating life. Yes, and show your experiences and your RV also. We are glad to hear our first two episodes uh, of the RV preparation series are helpful, especially for the first-time RVers. If you're a first-time full-timer, or just a first time RVer, uh, click the link to the top right and you'll see our first two episodes which go over some of the other details of owning an RV to get you started. That will save you some time. And then also you can find that down below in the comment section. We'll have the links. Or you can click the link in the end of this video. You'll also find the video there. Right. In our RV Prep 101 and 102, we sum up a list of things to check before going on the road. Check tire pressure is one of them. In this video, we will demonstrate further on how to get it done. Many of you might not have an RV, but interested in renting an RV to go camping. No matter what kind of RV you have or rent, Class A, B, C, trailer, office wheel, it's always important to check the tire pressure, especially after putting lots of things you want to bring into the RV or after driving down the road and uh, the tires get hot. This video is about tire pressure. We'll explain more about the optimum tire pressure uh, and how it should be affected by the axle weight and how to check the tire pressure. When you're ready to hit the road, you should first stop at the weigh station. That's very important. Here's how we weighed our vehicle at the Love's truck stop. You pull into the gauge, ask for a reading, and you'll get your results. What you'll end up with is weight per axle, which is very important because now you can dedicate the tire pressure to that specific axle for your tire. Hello? Hi, did you need to be aware or are you just getting a weight? Just getting a weight. I'd like to move that. Yeah, you should be good right where you're first. You're just not going to have anything on the uh, first hatch. I'm not sure what it is, so it should be all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'll come back in the store. All right, you're all set. Go ahead and come on in. Okay. It's done? Yeah, I've got to go in and get the receipt now. Our gross vehicle weight is supposed to be no more than 32,000. Total weight's 32,000. The front is 12 and the rear is 20. With the motorcycle on the back. And we're 1,300 pounds over on the rear, which is about what the lift weight is. So we had to end up redistributing some of the weight by moving some of the heavy items forward. Uh, First, we just put gas fuel in the tank too, and that's that's probably five, six hundred pounds. But well, we know. have an empty tank, water tank, right? Yeah, Almost basically empty. an empty tank, yeah. yeah. The water tank and the gray water tank and the black water tank too, right? Yeah. So okay. we're right at our limit though, basically. Huh. So how much do we pay for the scale? Eleven dollars for the scale. That's a good deal. Hmm? Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was free. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was free. <laughs> Nothing is free in California, okay? How do I get out of here? A tire pressure? So when you put air in your tire, it's like a balloon. And the more the higher you fill it, the more it gets round. Mm -hmm. So the tread, there's less tread on the ground, but it can generally take a, a bigger load, but it's also hard on the tire because it can explode. That's what we're really concerned with. We don't, don't want the tire to explode. If you don't have enough air in a tire, it, it actually gets soft in the middle and the sidewalls are starting to, or the edges of the tire are starting to be hard, higher on pressure. So you get more rounding on a corner of the tire and it doesn't wear well and you get low mileage. 
In other words, you've got to change the tire soon. So you want the tire to be the proper load. It's normally about flat, so the entire tread's on the ground. Well, she's got two tires on here. And then you got to put the, you got to have to have a special kind of a checker, rear gauge. You pull on it this time. Almost 110. So I just uh, got air at Love's for the first time on their check pass, I think they call it. Uh, we always like Love's just because uh, they're nice places for service and uh, it was really great because all you did is pull up to the station or for the check pass and, and a guy came out, serviced the vehicle and I got a Love's card and there was no charge. It would have been $5 otherwise, but they do all the pressure simultaneously. They have gauges for each one. They lock them in. And um, I noticed that uh, I think I've got a little low uh, tire pressure because I was running at uh, 100 PSI and with the heavy load that I have now, I should probably be at 120 or 125. Um, so hopefully I'll get better gas mileage, better wear and better handling. Um, so we'll see uh, how things go now. The VIN sticker for our Tiffin Phaeton 40 QSH shows 110 pounds per tire. But after weighing our vehicle, the tire manufacturer chart calculates recommended pressures of 100 PSI for the front and 90 for the rear for a 275 80 22 and a half inch tire. So there's a discrepancy between the RV manufacturer and the tire manufacturer as to what the proper PSI should be for the rating of the tire. Yeah, it steers lighter already, I can tell, and hopefully my steering feels more balanced. Probably will ride a little rougher, but thumbs up to Loves for helping out on that. It's a good deal. The other issue was I couldn't get enough pressure with the generator uh, on the RV, so uh, that's why I wanted to stop here and get it done. So another thing that we don't have and we should and we will have soon is a tire pressure monitoring system. This is a Bluetooth system that adds a module to the stem of the tire and radios that tire pressure information to your driver's location uh, on the console. So the important thing is when you're going down the road, you can start to see tire pressures going down and up. The big concern is that you have a, a slow leak and you see the tire pressure quickly going down and it normally will alert you to uh, that warning uh, that you've got a failing tire. So you can pull over before you have a, a big issue. Unfortunately, it won't always correct for instantaneous blowouts because there's no way for the system to react quick enough. But at least when you have slow leaks or too high a pressure, you'll have uh, a warning for that. So this is another safety that we need to invest in. Yeah, safety is the you don't wanna, <laughs> You don't want to go down the road with, you don't with want your one steering tire in the ruined. front. That's, that's bad. <laughs> Also remember that when you store your RV or you leave it for long periods of time outside, you want to protect the tire from UV damage. This can prematurely age your tire as the UV degrades the rubber bonding agents and can cause dry rot. So cover your tires for long periods of time when they're going to be exposed to the sun. So we've had a lot of interest in this just because people want to know how do you live in an RV, right? Mm -hmm. How can you put all your shoes in a closet? <laughs> how can you haul your car, haul your vehicle? So that's part of what we're trying to do here is explain what we do so you can start to prepare your travel. And also mm -hmm. we're going to do an episode on how we got started with full-time RVing. Let us know if you're interested in us describing how we accidentally uh, started uh, living the floating life in an RV. So another thing you can do when this video is over is you can check out our playlist. We have different sorted categories of videos like travel adventure, motorcycle, motorcycle. scuba diving, mm -hmm. and RV, RV preparation, preparation, and RV campgrounds, camp yeah. where we have been to. Depending on which uh, category you're more interested in, you can click on those and it'll play them all in succession. And that uh, will help your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, like 
and uh, subscribe. subscribe to our channel and more importantly comment down below with what you want to see on this RV preparation series also you can contact us on our Facebook page or the, our website, website for more information that's in the links below yeah we'll come we'll put the link down below or the link up there so we will see you next time on La Vie Flotante bye bye hi welcome how you doing <laughs> <laughs> one two three go don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and put a comment down below things that you want to see in the video or questions you have or things that uh, you have in your video or your RB or your um... <laughs> it's okay <laughs> okay try again I know it's hard so if you are new here uh, consider subscribing uh, our channel so we would love for you it'll to join it'll be here no it'll be over here <laughs> it'll be over here yeah <laughs> don't mess <it> up <laughs> So you can, maybe we can do a motion, but don't talk. Let's do one more time. We are really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right.